Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus. My name is Saint Grace and this is just a quick video. I hope it's quick. Um, to all the virtuous women in the Lord, every woman of God, every lady, young lady, um, grown-ups, middle age, older ladies, women in Christ, virtuous women in the Lord. Um, those who live in the diaspora, if you live in a country where the weather you have snow time and it freezes it's chilling it's very cold it gets super cold uh this is just a quick video how to get cozy like how to stay warm so that you don't fall sick during those time uh many many women have come to embrace the the message or the messages about not putting on uh pants or trousers making them look like men and so you would ask so how would i keep fit or uh, how not fit that's not the right word how would i keep warm during the winter time because i know that Many will use that as an excuse that um, this is you are living in America, you are living in Europe. You can't you can't uh, say that you won't wear trousers. Let's let's talk about that briefly so that it will help you as a child of God. Uh, when you read Mark chapter two, I like to uh, base on scriptures so that we decode the word of God. To get deeper understanding, uh, revelational knowledge in the word of God. So that we will be wise children of God. Mark chapter 2 verse 27 and 28. Then Jesus said to them, The Sabbath was made to meet the needs of people. And not people to meet the requirements of the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is the Lord. Is Lord even over the Sabbath, the Son of Man. We know that in the Bible, in the four Gospels, the Son of Man means Jesus. The Lord Jesus, whom you and I serve, is the Lord. Is Lord, is the Master, is the fulfillment of the Sabbath, which says that we must keep it holy and rest on that day. This thing, this statement came about when the Pharisees and the, the the keepers of the law questioned Jesus why he would want to pray for someone to be healed on the Sabbath day, which by their law, nobody should do any work. So they considered healing as a work for Jesus to do, doing something. If the, man, the crippled or the paralyzed man took his mat, meaning he was working, anyways, that's beside the point. I am just stressing on what Jesus said. He said the Sabbath, which is part of the law of Moses, was made to meet the needs, the demands of the people. As people overwork themselves, as they get tired, then the Lord is, is making them have the, the wisdom or the, the, the mindset to rest from their activities so that this body, he, he created, he formed the body. And so he knew that mankind needs a day rest or two days rest, you know, as they go about their vigorous activity. And so he said that Sabbath for them. He said, whilst you rest your body on that day, you, you keep it holy for me. You worship. You worship me. You set a day apart where you will not do any vigorous activity and then you will serve me or you worship me. And as the, the Lord Jesus has made us to understand that he came to accomplish the purpose, the reason why God said whatever he said to Moses. So Jesus is the fulfillment of that law. And so that is why he told that uh, lady, the Samaritan lady, that 
It is not going to be in Jerusalem nor in, in Samaria where you have to worship God. But everywhere that you are, you can worship him in truth and in spirit. You just have to be filled with the knowledge of God. You just have to be filled with him, with him, Jesus Christ. So beloved, as a child of God, when the cold weather comes, you, you, uh, you are filled with the spirit of God. You are filled with the knowledge of God that you do not want to put on trousers. And let's, let's, let's uh, face this fact. When you put on trousers, it doesn't solve having jeans, trousers, or any other trousers. doesn't make you super warm. I, because I used to wear trousers in the winter and it never... It, it, it never made me warm in any ways. It didn't warm me up. The trousers that I wore never uh, warmed me up. It didn't warm. It didn't bring any warmth to me. It was my heavy jacket that I wore. So as I, I, I put away all those trousers, there was no difference. It didn't make any difference to me. So I have a, a heavy long skirt that go all the way to my knees. And I also bought for myself. We have the winter boots. The winter boots, one of uh, some of it is are uh, very long. It comes to your thigh. It can come to your to your the, your very knee or even above. Um, yes, above the knee. It can come to your thigh. They have long boots like that. So if you if you can afford, uh, I will advise you to get you that long boots that will come to your your the knee high or the thigh high boots for your winter time you you buy that and they also have the the heavy uh, leggings under you can wear underneath the day that is like super super cold you can have that heavy leggings and wear it under your heavy skirt whether you are you have to be in school or you have to go to work or church or wherever it is that you need to go so you are not wearing your leggings outside to show the shape of your body where it can be a stumbling block to the the men out there looking at how your botox is designed like a, a, a u.s map or a europe map but once you you have it under your skirt with the motive that today as you step out you know the weather is zero degrees, it's over freezing or it's in the negatives. And so you add an extra clothing underneath that skirt that covers up everything. Because the, 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 the purpose or the motive is that you do not want your appearance to cause a stumbling block to a soul to fall from grace. Even women last after their fellow women. When they see their shapes and everything like that. So Jesus spoke about stumbling blocks. You do not want to be putting on those trousers or whatever it is. That will, will, will draw and shape your vagina. The V-shape uh, 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 triangle. And, and your buttocks and everything. But you would want to be modestly dressed. What, when it's not showing anything, it's not designing and, 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 and bringing up any shape for somebody to have dirty thoughts about you because of the way you made them to have, then it's a, it's a problem or it's a sin. And the Lord said, curse is you, a woe unto you because you made them to, to last after you. So you can be decent even in the winter time, in the cold time. By putting on that, the day that is very, very, I, that's what I do uh, most times. When it becomes super cold, I have that heavy leggings. Your, your mindset for wearing that heavy leggings is to, is to add extra cloth to what you already have, the skirt. Make sure you get yourself the heavy skirt. There are long heavy skirts. You buy them from where, uh, maybe from online stores or whatever local store is close to you so that you can have it on. Well, somebody might argue, well, those who wear leggings, even without the skirt, they also don't have any intention of enticing anybody. The Lord will judge the intent of the heart. 
if you don't have the intention of enticing anybody and you are wearing that publicly without the skirt covering it, it, it may cause someone to stumble from grace. So you did that unconsciously. If you cause someone to stumble from grace, and the Lord will require whatever act they, they, their actions from you. So don't be the stumbling block in their lives. It's as simple as that. We shouldn't make the word of God as a law. But we should make it a practical living. In every, in every organization, there, there are rules and the do's and the don'ts. When you go to work, they lay down the, the word policies and you make sure you, what, you obey so that you don't get fired. It is the same in the kingdom of God. So don't let the enemy deceive you to tell you anything else. Don't wait till it is too late to. I pray that you apply wisdom and you allow the, the spirit of God in you to lead you into doing that which is pleasing unto God. May God bless you. Amen.